What up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Eleven. I'm the CEO and the president of the Iconic label. It's an all-female label. And also the president of the She Got Next female advocacy movement. These right here are the top five influential female MC albums. Not only did they have an influence on me, but they had an influence on hip-hop and as we hear music today. Uh, got a little list right here. The first one, not in this order, but I'ma say Queen Latifah. All hail the Queen. That joint was so fire. I remember um going to Rap Rap Mania, I think it was called, at the Apollo Theater. And they introduced Latifah for the first time. And she did um be some be where in the yard, some uh, you run away, you know, see, fuck. And I was like, oh shit. And I mean, um, the rap for my madness, I think it was. Then she had to join with the De La Soul. She had, um, uh, Ladies First. Like, that whole album was crazy. Then she did the next album, which was, uh, Black Rain. Black Rain was dope. It was, um, that's the joint where she was dissing, um, she was dissing Shantae on that album. She had uh, Just Another Day um, and the UNITY. Who you calling the bitch? Everybody was saying that. <laughs> Even niggas were singing that song and shit. Um, so, Latifah, definitely. Um, I want to say after that, I want to say The Boss. Rest in peace to The Boss. She just recently passed away. And um, I, remember, I remember I was in Wagner House to see my aunt and my cousins. And um, they um, and they had a channel. They had cable before the Bronx and everything. And um, they played that. They played that video, and I was just like infatuated with her look. I had to think for girls that look like thugs back in the day, like <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, um, that that project was crazy. Um, she had to you you gotta you gotta let her hoe be a hoe. You know what I mean, you gotta let her hoe be a hoe. Uh, I think Eric Sherman produced that uh, produced that album or executive producer of the album. I know she was with Def Jam though, and um, then she had a uh, I don't really wanna feel. Well, I heard, that was the that was the video they was playing when I was at my my cousin's house. I heard it got to be a whole later, but I was like, oh shit, this is fire. Made me go out and get the whole album. She was dope as fuck. Um, my next one, eyes on this. MC Light. I played that tape till it popped twice. You know what I mean? Played it till it popped twice and shit. Sonically, I never heard nothing like Stop Look and Listen before. Sonically, I never heard nothing like Cha 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 before. I don't know if there were samples, the the way they mixed the instruments. I don't know what it was. It was crazy. She had a uh, she had a Song on there, this and um, Antoinette. I can't remember. I can't remember this. It wasn't, it wasn't 10% this. I think it was called Shut the F Up. My damn hoe, here we go again. That shit. Crazy. Crazy. Um, The cover, I like, you know, it looked like she was outside and shit. And I was, I used to have, uh, carry a picture, uh, obviously late around in my wallet when I was in. <laughs> When I was in junior high school, I used to carry a picture around in my wallet. And it was like, like, yeah, I'm married her. But yeah, now, oh, shit, nigga. I, I bought my ring tonight. <laughs> um, And I want to say, I, I, I'm going to get these two honorable mentions. Nicki Minaj, her and mixtape before she signed to Lil Wayne um, to, to cash money. She was spending some shit on there. She, she, she was talking her shit. Or she she was really talking her shit. You know what I mean? Um I, I get why her album started sounding the way they did. Um Cardi B, the mixtape before the Kodak Black, critically acclaimed. You know what I mean? I uh, I I wasn't sure. I was really into my mixtape thing at the time. And um I really wasn't sure how it was gonna go because of the cover. Kinda threw me off. But then as it Kept hearing it and listening to it. I was like, okay, this shit this is all right. You know what I mean? Then, here come Bodak Yellow. You know? Okay, 
those two items mentioned, my number one album, influential album. I think this is the dopest album in the world. One of them. But it's definitely in my top five. Lauren Hill, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Now, going back to Nicki Minaj, I think we can, Nicki Minaj took that structure where you drop albums, hip hop singles, but then when people buy the album, it's something else completely different. Uh, Nicki Minaj did it like on a pop level, um, Lauren Hill did them on R&B level. You know what I mean, because like this is like the Fugees, you know, Wyclef did the um, Going Through November thing and, you know, um, Stand Alive, you know what I mean? He had John Forte with the, um, what's it, with the song, um, something, something with, the, with the bombs, you know, coming, I can't remember the name of the song, but John, John Forte was dope. But then it was like, okay, where Lauren at? And she banged us in the head with something crazy. With the Wyclef disc, I call it the Wyclef disc, called you know, called Lost Ones, and then um, then the whole but um, ba da 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 da, da you know, um, doop to doop, and after that I was like, okay, this album gonna be fucking crazy. Another album, I bought I bought the album twice, and when I got tired of albums keep popping, I bought the CD. <laughs> that's that's how invested I was, and her story was dope. Her singing. Uh, was 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 incredible. Um, the the X Factor. I I, I remember um, my girlfriend uh left. <laughs> I was standing in Harlem. My girlfriend left, and I was in the house singing. The, uh, I knew all the all the X Factor ad libs. Can they cry? Give. <laughs> nah, I'm stopped. But um, but yeah, very dope album. My name is Eleven, and those are the top female influential albums.